Okay, calibration of your side stays is quite important for light winds and choppy air settings as well as just for having a safety margin for your boat. Uh, my boats are always set up with uh, base tension at the back. I never measure the side stays. It's always the side stays, uh, the four stay that's measured for the base tension. Um, depending on your loose gauge, you're aiming for somewhere around 20 on a loose gauge. Um, that number isn't just a random number picked out of the air. If you have a look at the actual um, tension scale on your loose gauge, you will see the number of kilos. The wire that we use is 332 uh, or two and a half mil on an S14. And you wanna make sure you've got at least a safety margin of two to one on that. So you can see that the scale for your maximum tension pretty much matches with a two to one safety margin on your rigging. Uh, so your zero setting, as I would call it, is back. Okay, that's your full tension when you're running uh, fully powered up and both hiking hard on the side. My first calibration setting is at a setting that where I've measured 10 on the force day. So 10 on the force day is, I guess, an arbitrary 50% of um, the maximum tension. What it means to me is it gives me a scale that I'm working off so that I know in proportion of where it is as to how much load I've got on the rig. I, my next tent gauge there is I have a zero mark. And that's basically where I can't measure tension on the boat anymore. Now these are obviously balanced side to side. Majority of the time both stays are adjusted together to get that base rig tension. For downwind you're obviously only setting one, um, one stay forward and the other one remains back. So I have a mark which I call our X mark. Now the X mark is a safety mark. It's normally somewhere about two thirds of the way up your track and that's where the mask cannot fall down no matter what happens. So you can let your lured stay all the way off to that X mark. As long as the other one's on, your rig can't fall down. We then have a, as we've been sailing, learn different things about the types of boat. Now the Tigers are a pretty safe boat with the side stays because they finish at the back of the mast. So even with both stays forward, in no air, the mast isn't likely to fall down. There's enough geometry there to keep it standing. So downwind you can actually run marginally forward on your windward stay as well as your lured stay forward. But don't do it in chop because you will lose the rig over the front. Just going to run through the um, numbers I have on my side stays and then how I calibrated that. Uh, I've got three numbers, so one, two and three, and you can see that there. And on my boat, I simply did that by where the bolt was. So there's, there's three bolts there and that gave me numbers. Through practice I've determined where I like to have that set for reaching and downwind in different wind conditions. And I can uh, let the crew know that as well as the crew already knowing a base setting to where we want to get to. Um, now in windy, in most conditions upwind I'll have the, the stay right back, so right at the back. And then I can then go what I call half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, and all the way off. So it gives me a, a really easy setting for the crew to understand. They can they know exactly where I want want it put, and uh, and then I can go from there. Now down reaching, I would only ever let the lured stay off, and then if it's a tight reach, I'd typically go to, to one, and then gradually go off from there. Uh, depending on the wind conditions, how wavy it is, how windy it is, but I'll have a setting for each wind condition on the reach, and depending how broad I am on the reach. Downwind, typically going all the way as far forward as I can on the lured stay downwind, so I can get the boom right out. And as it gets windier or choppier, I'll gradually bring that back a little bit to make the mast more stable and take too much sag out of the forestay. And you can usually tell as the forestay starts to sag too much and you can see the mast getting unstable, that's when I like to just tighten it up a little bit to make sure that it's safe and the rig's gonna stay up. And that's my uh, calibration for the side stays.